Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design this simple scissor platform, scissor lift table in SolidWorks. And see, we will make all the parts with the help of 2D drawing and at the end we will assemble it and we will apply a limit also in between this so that it will not move beyond the limit. See, so let's start to make this simple project in SolidWorks. This is the first part of scissor lift tab table platform. So you will see 100 by 45 millimeter is the width and height and uh, thickness 12 millimeter. So first operation we will extrude 12 millimeter. Then there is one oblong 25 millimeter long and this radius 2.5 and there is one hole it's 5 millimeter. 5 millimeter from distance from one end to other and 65 millimeter 25 millimeter so let's make this file open now let's choose your part even there is advanced mode even you can create your own template here but i'll show you in some time background you can change it from here unit also you can change it left uh, right bottom millimeter gram now first operation is we need to perform extruded boss base once you click it will ask you which plane you like to use either you can directly choose plane no problem so let's say front plane now here which rectangle is suitable so let's say corner rectangle okay a smart dimension 100 millimeters say yes forty five millimeter okay now simply select finish now see it's going to extrude so that is twelve millimeter is the thickness keep end condition blind okay now let me make here drill so select the face sketch now here in slot section we have a straight slot center slot so let's try center slot which is better okay then i'll choose circle or press c key keyword in keyboard it is selected first out of this then press c i think it is not set here okay let's create some relations here if you found center point just click on center po point hold shift key and select the line see we need to create here center point hold shift key horizontal relation that's it now the same way i'll choose this circle hold shift key this point horizontal relation a smart dimension 25 millimeter 5 millimeter and this radius 2.5 millimeter now the distance from here to here it is 65 millimeter let's drag inside little a smart dimension now this distance given 5 millimeter see our geometry is fully defined Simply go to feature, exit and choose your extruded cut. Once you select extruded cut, it will automatically select the things which is going to cut because we recently drawn this. Now here in blind condition, either you can increase the dimensions or length and it will cut. But there, there are so many things either like through all. If we choose through all, it will cut up to the end of this. See.
Now let me define some take little yellowish side. Okay. Let's save this part. Save. Now in your destination create a folder and that is scissor lift. Part 1 Platform Here the next part is link arm, scissor link arm. So see the outer circle diameter here 3 number of 9 dia. Okay, inner one uh, 5 dia hole, 3 numbers. 90 is the center distance and uh, 45 millimeter is from, okay, this is shown by 4 midpoint. And this dimension not shown, but this is also 5 millimeter, the center gap, this 2 distance, thickness 2 millimeter. So let's say top plane, a sketch and let me draw a center line. Now we will sketch our geometry in this one. Just find our center point. See? Now let me draw two. Okay line i'll draw two lines escape l command in keyboard and again draw line make sure the lines horizontal okay now here we will see some constraint or relations first i'll sh hold shift key and select outer circle equal now hold shift key and select inside circle equal relation okay now now let me choose this one and this point it is supposed to be tangent relation okay line and circle tangent this line and this circle tangent Now this point and this circle coincide, this point and this circle coincide. In the same way did this side, point and circle coincide, point circle coincide. Now let us try dimension, let me try inside 5 millimeter the outer one 9 diameter now the distance 90 millimeter so we already took the center distance so it's no need to define this one the drawing is fully defined now either we can trim it also but we don't need to trim actually if you go to select extruded boss base now in selected contour one Choose all the closed geometry because there is too many closed geometry. See, thickness 2 millimeter. That's it. Let's say some red color and let's save this one. link arm third part is pin 53 millimeter long and 5 diameter circle front plane a sketch front plane circle let's draw a circle 
and make diameter 5 mm and go to feature and select extruded boss base and this length is 53 see keep end condition blind and 53 mm say ok now edit appearance okay let me save this one long pin this is the center and a small pin 4 millimeter long 5 diameter so extrude front plane a sketch circle and let me draw a circle here and keep the smart dimension 5 millimeter. If you exit, it will automatically enter in extrude mode and end condition 4 millimeter. This is the center pin, so same color, save it. Pin. Now let's start assembly. Caesar platform. Now let's start assembly of Caesar lift platform. So let's start from new scratch. Click assembly. Okay. Now see this our parts are open. If you want to bigger, just select large icon. See it's visible. First part, this one. By default, first part always fixed. If you right click, you will see you have option to float, but we will make fix so that our geometry or sketch or animation will work. Now insert on the next part, pin. Now here we need to create a relation between this pin. Go to mat. The first relation we will create mechanical mat slot select free here select this inside face and this one say ok now we want to fix this one this see this is moving only inside the slot it will not move beyond the slot because we choose free movement and slot mechanism advanced mat there is one mat with called width we have to select first two faces of one body, then two faces of other body. Now you will see this rod going to fix at the center of the body. Now let me ro rotate, see. Now we want to copy, so press control key, click this one and drag ok now press control key click this one and drag now the same relation we are going to create with these two also mechanical mat slot rod and this keep here free ok advanced mat width two faces of first body then pin two faces and see it fixed at the center of the body ok now let me rotate see now here in this case both the body and pins are rotated but here body is fixed so only rotate pin now let me hold shift key and drag Oh, sorry control key and drag one more pin or simply copy command actually this is control click drag now let's create mat even though you can directly click on the part and here you will find option mat see the face already selected let me choose this hole and it is asking co-centric relation ok now same for this also Co-centric relation. Okay. Now advanced met width met we are going to apply here. First body, then second body two face. 
okay now in the same way two faces of width one side face and one side face see okay so the rods are fixed at the center this is movable see if you rotate see the rod is moving inside and here also the rod moving inside link arm now press control key copy click drag again control key click drag control key click drag mat this hole and this pin concentric relation okay now drag outside select this face and this face coincident see now let's drag upward this is going to fix with this select center pin make relation concentric now in the same way the wall of link and the wall of this coincident relation okay now see okay now the next thing let's try any one pin this hole and uh, this hole concentric relation now we will apply a select this face and this face now here we will apply distance we don't want to fix 2 mm see okay why we kept distance here because it is we want to fix here also select this face and this pin say concentric relation okay now select this hole and this hole concentric relation see okay here also we need to apply some relation so let's first fix other side in the same way we have to fix in other way also other side also concentric relation where this gone and better to take out so that select this face and this face coincident relation now in the same way i'll select the hole and pin concentric relation now here no need to define wall relation because already fixed here pin hole concentric relation already defined now here we need to okay this one fix select this wall this wall it is not going to fix here apply dimension 2 mm okay now select this one and this pin concentric relation now see even though if you will not apply it will work fine but if you apply then better see so here also we need to apply a relation okay this is the maximum okay we need to find go to evaluate measure 
select this face and this face let's find this set distance 50.08 millimeter let's say 50 millimeter is the center distance we can apply okay first save save me this one scissor lift table assembly so let's apply a limit between this go to assembly mat if you drop down advanced mat there is one option called limit if you click limit you will have maximum limit and minimum limit let's first select these two faces now comes down maximum limit 50 and minimum limit 1 millimeter see let's keep gap 1 millimeter and maximum 50 millimeter okay now let me open see now it's not going back beyond see 50 is maximum and minimum it's we defined a limit 1 millimeter it will not go beyond 1 millimeter so this is the simple scissor plate form now we forget to add our last pin Met. select this face co centric relation select outer face and this face hold control key click on the part and drag select the face met and select this circle a hole co centric relation okay I'll choose this face and this face. Coincident relation. See? So, this is how we created a scissor plate form table in SolidWorks with the help of parts and assembly. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.